Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Monday, the 28th of February. Last day of the month. Severe weather day, perhaps, for much of uh, Alabama in the eastern part of the United States. A lot to discuss, so let's go. Uh, take a look at the sky cam shots this morning. First off from Fayette. Way too warm for February. Uh, readings are between 65 and 70 in most spots, and that's way above the uh, average high for this time of the year. Uh, things are relatively quiet for now. There's the Inverness sky cam at 450. What are those people doing out there, 450 on Monday morning? It's cloudy, and uh, by golly, some rain is falling down in Chilton County. That's the uh, Clanton sky cam. Nothing heavy, just some showers. Uh, most of them are on the eastern side of the state as I do this update about uh, 5 o'clock. On the synoptic scale, there's your intense shortwave approaching with uh, severe weather issues all the way from really uh, northeastern Texas on up toward the Great Lakes, as you can see. And yeah, it's too warm. Look at that 70 in Tuscaloosa and Montgomery. And actually, these are 4 a.m. observations. Started a little early today. So uh, for 4 o'clock in the morning, that's pretty balmy for this time of the year. Uh, you'd expect to see numbers like that maybe in June and not February. Look at the dew points, too. Goodness. Uh, this is the uh, surface dew point gradient at 420 a.m. And those dew points are way up in the 60s over much of the southeast. A little lower over toward Atlanta. They're in the 50s over there. But clearly, the uh, they kind of max out around here. And that's certainly going to be a factor today, that low-level moisture and the high instability. The dry line has come on through Dallas-Fort Worth, as you can see. And it's awfully dry back behind that dry line in West Texas where they had some Big uh, wildfire issues yesterday. Here's our watch warning map, and uh, that's illuminated like a Christmas tree. Basically, all of Alabama's counties under a wind advisory today, except around Dothan. Uh, some tornado watches to the uh, northwest. And up in New England, winter weather issues with this thing. There's the closest watch early this morning. That's until 9 o'clock, and that watch includes uh, uh, Memphis, and uh, Lexington, Kentucky, uh, Jackson, Tennessee, Dyersburg. And, of course, we'll watch that probably expand southward today. There's your convective outlook today. Moderate risk, basically for the northern third of Alabama, along and north of U.S. 278, that's an enhanced risk. And surrounding that is the standard slight risk. And we never want to downplay the slight risk. You know, slight is a very misleading term. There's a good chance there'll be some severe weather. The, the, the term slight just means that the... Severe weather should be more widely separated. And there's the uh, wind probabilities, the chance of severe wind. That's 58 miles per hour or greater. Almost 50-50 up in the Tennessee Valley. 30%, uh, one in three chance you'll have uh, severe wind as far south as Montgomery today. So, uh, again, this will be a day to be close to watches and warnings and a spot where you can hear them. Here's a look at the convective uh, available potential energy, the uh, instability this morning at uh, a little before 5 o'clock. Actually, this is 4 o'clock, and uh, you can see already we've got surface jewels, uh, or surface uh, capes of 1,000 joules up around Memphis back over toward Muscle Shoals. And you got to figure if the capes are that high at 4 in the morning, they'll be pretty high at noon today, uh, even higher, unless there's any kind of uh, you know air mass change. We don't expect that until this afternoon. Uh, there's a look at the uh, helicity values. This is the low-level helicity, uh, the 0 to 1 kilometer helicity, and you can see that uh, they're very high, uh, all the way really from uh, Lake Charles to, to Nashville and points north, and they're quite high over northwest Alabama at this point, and that certainly is supportive of rotating updrafts. And this is the significant tornado parameter at 4 o'clock, and uh, really anything over a 1 or a 2 is very significant. We've got a 4 uh, up around the shoals, back up toward uh, Nashville. Uh, we do have capping. We, we've got uh, warm air loft kind of keeping things quiet this morning, but that should break as the morning progresses. Uh, progresses. Uh, the uh, rain with this thing, uh, one half to three quarters of an inch here, heavier amounts up north. And again, we'll look at modeling on this. This is the synoptic scale. This is the <coughs> O6C GFS at noon today. The uh, energy, the the the. Energy is coming out of the uh, Texas, Oklahoma region, lifting northeast. And down below that, the uh, prime surface low is New England. But there's really the, an idea of maybe a secondary low forming somewhere around Nashville or Louisville. We'll check the RPM uh, depiction. This is at uh, 10 o'clock this morning. 
And uh, this is where you got to start to watch out here. That you know, this instead of a line, it looks more cellular at 10 a.m. And uh, that would be problematic. And we could see tornado warnings as early as nine or 10 o'clock this morning. We'll go to two o'clock, and you can see that it kind of rolls into a squall line. But again, anything out ahead of that could produce a tornado. And within that squall line or QLCS, there could be an embedded tornado or two. At four o'clock, uh, the line is southeast of Birmingham. It's uh, coming through Wadawi and Clanton at that point. And then by 6 o'clock, it's all over. Uh, for us, at least, uh, the uh, convection down along Interstate 85 is just below there, down around Tuskegee and uh, Montgomery. So uh, bottom line is severe weather day today, all modes of severe weather possible. Uh, main risk anywhere from, uh, for this part of the state, uh, we'll say uh, 8 until uh, about 4.30 or 5. It will be a daytime event. By tonight, things will be over. Uh, tomorrow, pretty decent looking day. Uh, should be mostly sunny. Weather turns a little cooler. Check the uh, moss here. Uh, the, the NAM is at 59. The GFS is at 64. So uh, low 60s would be likely there. Uh, Wednesday, pretty decent day. We'll start the day probably in the 30s, really both mornings. And again, some of the colder pockets might make a run at the freezing mark. Most everybody will stay above freezing. This will not be a late season freeze threat. Thursday, we stay in good shape. Should start to warm up pretty nicely with a high right around 70. And then Friday, uh, moisture starts to come back, and that's suggesting maybe a few scattered showers. And look at that. Saturday starting off the weekend, another vigorous shortwave. And another severe weather threat potentially. Surface low at Nashville. So Saturday could be a stormy day. March 5th, that's what you expect in March around here. We'll, you know, get past today, then we'll focus on that. And then Sunday... Uh, that feature is gone, turns colder. Uh, highs would be only in the 50s if this is right, with a pretty cool north wind. And Monday looks pretty nice, week from today. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 15th. Big trough out west, uh, kind of a ridge here. Things look pretty quiet if that's right. And again, for now, no sign of any super-duper cold air outbreak. But again, we caution you, the average date of the last freeze is March 24th. We have a long way to go, and we've seen a freeze as late as April 24th. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video, if the weather allows, by 3.30 or so today. And of course, uh, stay with us on the blog, alabamawx.com, for our coverage. And of course, if we have tornado issues, we'll be on ABC 3340 TV. TV and the web as well with uh, live coverage. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Have a, a great day and God bless.